there are tantrics who practice certain practices in order to increase their ability to control situations. This is to gain power. And they need those powers, so they'll do anything to figure it out and try to gain it. They draw energy in direct physical contact with a female, from the womb of the female. I met one person on my travels in, in particular who became quite obsessed with the idea of doing tantric rituals with me and described this, you know, I mean, I, shortly after I ran very far away from this person, but described this whole thing and he kept saying, like, get power, you know, he was obsessed with this idea of getting power from the female and the power that could arise from that experience. This idea of men being able to get enhanced powers and abilities through sexual experience with a woman. What's, what is to that? Is there some foundation? Look, where is that coming from, this idea? It's an energetic exchange. If you have two people that have a sexual relationship with each other and one knows how to draw energy from the other, then you don't even need to have a sexual relationship for that. Two people sitting next to each other, one can draw energy from the other if they know how to do it. These are techniques that are practiced and that are learned by people who are interested in, in that. But it's not so simplistic, actually, the whole thing, in the sense that there are tantrics who practice certain practices in order to increase their ability to control situations. That's what they mean by power. And there are certain kinds of energy that are needed for them to increase those powers. And so they, they will only be able to get that energy if they get it from a female when she is in a state of surrender, but not surrender to her truth within, to her antar guru, to her divine center, but in surrender to that person. So it's a state which is an unconscious state, actually. And that is achieved often through those sexual, those sexual acts. And then that energy is taken, the shakti, the female shakti, because it's a different energy. There is a lot to it. It's a very wide field of knowledge. But, you know, of course, it's very interesting to talk about the sexual aspects of Tantra, which don't actually exist because it's not about... It's just nonsense to talk about Tantric. I don't even know how else to say it. But the, the thing is that those are interesting topics because everyone wants to talk about sex. But more interesting than, than those processes, because those processes were processes that were developed in order to experience oneness with the cosmic through the agencies of the, of the body and its desires. The other way was to go into meditation and into pushing the awareness out of the body by yearning upward and outward. So you had these two basic processes described in two sentences, it's a little deeper than that, but the process that actually takes one into self-realization without having to deal with repercussions of those various actions, for example, the, the sexual energy exchange and things like that, is to, is to go inward and start to be in a state of humility to that within you, that source within your guru, your antar guru, your inner master, because then what happens is you can have the most incredible sexual experiences if that's what interests you. 
there are some people they are interested in all the details of sexual experience and 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 the art of sexual experience there are others who are not interested in that not everybody has the same interest so people can move into different fields of interest but the fundamental base has to be that connect with the divine within and to become an instrument of that divine impulse that that soul impulse that source impulse it doesn't mean you're going to become like a like a nun and wear a long habit and sit there and pray all day it just means that your system is in tune with the truth and it's very possible that the truth wants you to experience some wild energetic exchange with people so everything is possible when you bend to the truth and as far as people who do these kind of rituals where they draw energy from the female the male tantrics who do that this is to gain power and they need those powers so they'll do anything to figure it out and try to gain it they draw energy in direct physical contact with a female from the womb of the female and sometimes if they are very if they have a lot of knowledge of how to do it they can even separate out the energies because if a female has a male that has been inside her that male leaves energies in her womb also or in a womb it's not really a womb but and so when the next male comes along he has to be able to otherwise he's going to absorb the energies of the male before and then he's in trouble which is also what happens sometimes to tantrics so it's a you know why get into all that messy fields where you don't really know what's going on unless you're ready to sit with a tantric over years and learn these things these are techniques of transcending human experience but they also come with so much danger when you have the truth within you why bother with all that you can bend to the truth within you can be an instrument of the truth and you can have a very amazing life embracing sexual experience sexual experience is not something unspiritual you can have very spiritual sexual experience but first you have to be tuned in as an instrument of the truth else you are in trouble or you take years to practice as a tantrika which i don't think most people have the time for or even the inclination for you know so that surrender posture bend down the truth the truth yearning for the truth if at all you want to yearn for anything